Nah, picture me rolling. Feeling connected to God, trying to get closer. Just trying to stay focused, kind of like Moses. Like somebody chose us. To me, I'm just carving the scotia and fine tuning my approaches. Doubling back as an owner. The moment of truth is upon us. Call them promoters. Hey. Hey. Instagram. Uh, Aloha family. We here, here on the farm. How's it going? Yeah. Come on in. Here we go. We're gonna harvest sugar cane. And uh today, so look, we'll harvest some sugar cane and we'll tell you a little bit about sugar cane and how we use it. And we'll press some and we'll drink some. And it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Inacompany.com. Check the link in the bio. So look, we here, I got some sugar cane. I'm gonna harvest this sugar cane and take you down to our cane press where we will press the cane. All right. So look, I know two things about sugar cane. One, that it's good for you, and two, that it tastes real good. So he's gonna do most of the talking today. So here we go. All right, so there's many ways that you can harvest this plant. Today we'll use this pruner. But you can also use a machete um, or you can use a saw. So there's many ways to harvest this plant. And first, I just want to tell you that good sugar cane is straight sugar cane. So oh, I, I didn't a, know that a string on here to keep this cane growing up straight so it doesn't grow out or start to twist. And uh, that makes it easier to access and it's easier on the machine when you press it. So today we'll just harvest one stalk just to give you guys an idea of this whole process. And one stalk is actually um, a nice amount. Do you need my help? No, I just wanna figure out which one. Okay. Hey, Brianna, Brianna. What's up, Benja? F. Joseph, always okay. coming through with the love. So look, this is one stalk here. And I just want to tell you guys that for sugar cane to reach maturity, it's about nine to 24 months. And it's, it's good at any stage. It just gets sweeter as it gets older. But you don't want to wait till it gets too old. And you'll know if it's too old because the space in between these leaves, mm -hmm. in between each leaf, it will get much wider than what you see here. I don't have an example, but this space here uh -huh. between this leaf and this leaf will start to get wider. And the wider that gets, the more mature this cane is. So any wider than what you see here is getting a little bit over the hill and it will start to go to seed. It will start to make a flower and make a seed. And so it, it propagates both by seed and by, um, I guess it's like offshoot. Yeah, so you can plant Similar like what you see here, a banana tree, right? Yeah, um, like little cakeys. It will give shoots, 
and those already have roots on them. You can plant that or you can lay this cane flat and it will grow from each one of these little shoots here. So we'll just clean this up. I'm not gonna replant these today just for the, uh, the video. We'll just clean it up. And you will use this as mulch. Have you ever gained sugarcane grass to um, the chickens? Um, yeah, they like it. And we planted this cane right by our chicken coop just to give them some shade, really. But um, I think it is thriving off of uh, what the chickens got going on in there. All right, so we're gonna take this down and we're gonna go press it. And that's just one stalk there. This is about an average mature stalk. That looks good. That looks real, like, tribal, indigenous. Yeah. <laughs> real Moses-like. <laughs> so, again, we'll just harvest some sugar cane. We're going to go to our cane machine, and we're going to press this cane and show you the process. So, as we walk, here goes bananas. This is a banana circle I created a long time ago. This is all sugar cane mulch here. So, look at that. Here goes some bananas coming in. So we'll continue to make our way down. Look at to those the butterflies. I love butterflies. Oh, almost tripped. Kale. Lettuce. Welcome everybody to the room. Liz. Lotus. Ironwood River. This is more ginger here. Look this is not this. the edible ginger, but this has a beautiful smell and a beautiful flower. It's a great uh, ground cover, keeps weeds away. Ginger is very prolific. So wherever you want it, just make sure you want it there because it's gonna be there. And these are all little like shoots that you can pick off and replant these. So this wasn't here, I don't know how, not that much longer ago, but now it's here and it's not going anywhere. Papaya trees, look, those two are ready. Hey, Christina, what's up, Andrew, Emily? Andrew. So we're here on the farm today, it's a farm day. We'll catch up on whatever needs to get done. It's been raining a lot lately, so the weeds are growing crazy. Here we have beautiful weeds check them out all around us abundant oh look at this one this one's like ready not the prettiest rag but this is the uh, burrow banana it's said to be one of the first bananas huh yeah it's supposed to be a uh, just an older variety um, more of an alkaline banana all right all right so we're making our way to the cane machine. We're gonna we will press this cane and we'll make a wonderful beverage. Here's Ina Mae's favorite bush, her thimbleberry bush. She loves eating thimbleberries. So just to share with you guys, this here is a sugar cane stalk, which is over 65% water. There's over 65% water in this stalk. There's about 15% sugar in this stalk. And there's about 15% fiber. And sugarcane has a water soluble fiber. So we, even when you drink the liquid from the sugarcane, you're still getting fiber, which causes the body to, to deal with it a little more slowly. So the body treats sugarcane like a complex carbohydrate and it absorbs it slower than it would a simple sugar like a uh, glass of apple juice or orange juice. That's good, that's good. All right, so we're making our way. We're here. And look, this is a special tool that I, um, I got this with the machine press or with the cane press. And this is to scrape the skin off of the cane, which I'm not gonna do that right now because you have to clean it more. So you can scrape the skin off and uh, some people prefer it that way. Some people prefer it with the skin on. I really don't notice a difference in the flavor, more of a difference in the color. So before I uh, go through that, I wanna show you guys, this here is a red cane and that's what we have here. 
this is a red sugar cane and then this is a green stalk this stalk was pressed from a, a really light green so it will take on the color of the stalk and I made this machine or this thing here I made this to chop the cane and it's just a little safer than swinging a machete I just mounted this machete to um, to this board so we'll cut this in smaller sections so we can deal with it better Good catch. Y'all like this little display here, huh? Yeah, I did that. That's cute. What's up? Welcome everybody into the room right now. We are going through the process of picking and or harvesting and pressing some sugar cane. We've already harvested. Obviously, this is here, and then we'll press it. Hey, Ida May. My These are a couple different um, color cane juices. This is the purple variety, which is this color here. And then we have another green variety that we're planning to. We noticed that the purple variety, um, the skin is a little bit more, is harder um, than the green cane. The green cane seems to be a little bit softer. But taste-wise, I would prob probably say the taste of the um, purple is a little bit sweeter than the green. The, but it still reminds you of, like, of, a, of a light green tea. Hey, Tor. Welcome, everybody. All right. So here we have the beautiful cane machine. We got this machine imported from where? I want to say this guy is, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think he's from the Philippines. Yeah. But I'm not sure. So this is a, this machine is from a company called Tubo Biz. This is one of the best machines that I could find in this a uh, particular one is a TT750D Pro. This has three uh, rollers on it, stainless steel, full grade. Um, this is a heavy duty machine. And uh, me and Asia, we shipped it in like, what, how long? Uh, maybe a year ago. About a year ago. This machine has definitely paid for itself and uh, we'll have it now for a long time. It's good, it's something good to have if you live in the tropics and if you have access to fresh sugar cane. So, um, most right. of the time you'll see it um like in countries that heavily press sugar cane a lot they'll have like the, the crank press <laughs> um you know which is like old-fashioned but it works just as well but this is another level because in one moment you will see how this works okay so we got our stalks here and you know what me and asia would usually uh rinse these stalks off but we weren't prepared for that on this video so just to show you guys what it is you would wash this stock you would rinse it off i like to split them it's easier on the machine that machine can deal with this stock hole but i still like to uh split it i just feel like it's easier on the machine longevity so this is fresh harvest sugar cane right here and believe it or not sugar cane is low glycemic so sugar cane is about a 43 on the glycemic scale when a glass of apple juice is probably around a, a 60 on the glycemic scale. So um, sugar cane is actually... Which not... seems kind of ironic, you know, hence the name sugar cane. And it is, I don't know if, if you know or not, but sugar cane is where sugar actually comes from. So um, all the sugar from all across the world is comes from this wonderful plant right here. It's just concentrated. Yeah, so they get it, they uh, press the cane just like we're doing here, but they heat it and they evaporate all the water. They'll come with a syrup and uh, then they will process that syrup into a sugar. And that's when they'll make um, granules, granules. They'll make sugar cane um, granules. They make white sugar. And then look, sometimes you can get brown sugar, but nothing is going to be better for you than the whole form here. So this is going to be sugar cane it will still have all the minerals it will still have all of the water that comes with the plant so like i said this is over 65 percent water in this plant whole this food is mineral water this is a whole food you could take this come on with the come on with the hearts y'all i see y'all i see y'all <laughs> i'm gonna dump this ice so that ice melted oh okay so look Again, this, this machine comes from a company called T Tubo Biz. We ordered this machine. 
We don't have any ties with this company, but this is a pretty good machine. I really can't compare it because I haven't used another machine, but I've seen other machines in action and I've heard a lot about it. I know that this machine is one of the best ones you can get. So look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, this is a, turn the machine on, forward, drives the cane through. You can reverse the machine to pull the cane back if something gets stuck and it has an emergency stop on here just in case. So we'll press some cane and watch it come out here. Look at that. Fresh press, local, organic, raw. Look how that comes out. Dry as a whistle. Wonderful mulch. Look at that. Welcome to the room. Oh, hey, I turned it around. <laughs> uh, we are pressing sugar cane right now. So dad's putting it through the machine. Out comes dry sugar cane. Sometimes most, um, if you don't get a quality sugar cane machine, you'll have to run this stalk back through the machine to basically try to get as much of the juice out as possible. But with this machine, it just um, juices it so well that that's not necessary. Yeah, because it has the three rollers here and the three rollers really make sure you get that thing flat. So look, you see how this cane took it. on the cup of that stalk that we pressed. And look at those bubbles at the top. Fresh sugar cane should be frothy. It should remind you more of a milk than a, a, a watery drink. Hey, Ina. What's the verdict? Look at that, it don't get no better. This is cold pressed mineral water. You just watched us pick it, what? Five minutes, 10 minutes ago. And look, sugar cane has over 95 minerals of the 102 when um, wheatgrass, sugarcane is in the grass family, it's a tropical grass. So everybody knows wheatgrass, but being mineral rich, wheatgrass has around 80 minerals. Sugarcane, it tastes good, and it has around 95 minerals. Mineral rich water. And look, I advise you to do some research on sugarcane. I'm not promoting sugar. I'm not promote, promoting uh, even uh, dried sugar from sugarcane. This is what I'm talking about. It's cold pressed sugar with the water still there. Mineral water. And look, this is something else you can do. This tastes, let me tell you, this tastes like a um, sweet tea. Yeah. That's what this is gonna remind you of is a sweet earthy tea. This is not gonna uh, be as sweet as you would imagine just from the name of it, sugar. But candy. it is sweet, now don't get it wrong. It's, it's still sweet, but most people when they try it, they're like, oh wow, like that wasn't as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. All right, so look, this is something else we're gonna do. There's many ways you can do this. You can put, you can put coffee beans in here if you want and give this a coffee flavor. Ooh. You can put ginger in here. And the beauty of sugar cane, you can add medicine and it will allow you to take that medicine. So imagine people who don't like the taste of certain foods that are supposed oh. to be good for you. Sugar cane, it lets you take medicine and it tastes good. So we added ginger. It's gonna be a total different flavor now. Look at that color. And we add lime. I didn't tell Elle about the coffee bean, you know. Elle get enough. <laughs> hey Elle, you gotta try that one. Uh, all right, welcome everybody. We are pressing fresh sugar cane right now. So we added lime. And Ina's here. Look at that. And I'm a sleepy butt. You a sleepy butt, okay. So we added lime. And now it's a total different different drink. Okay, let me get a little sip now. A little sip. Sippy sip. Sippy sip. I'm not gonna get a sip. Oh. Ina doesn't that's like good. Just got a little ginger. I didn't think you weren't. It's spicy. Fine by me. Spicy ginger. Spicy ginger, yeah. It is, it's good for you. I don't like spicy. So you could probably only get sugar cane uh, in the in the tropics here in Hawaii in tropical regions, but you can also get sugar cane um, in South Florida and in Florida. California and in many places you can get sugar cane shipped in so you can get these stalks here uh, Shipped to you. They'll be frozen and you can get it shipped to you um, And if you have access to a press you can press it yourself 
Another thing really common that most people know sugar cane is for is chewing on this. So you can chew on this stalk. Um, you would just pull from the center, from the white flesh here, and you could chew on that. And it's supposed to be good for your teeth as well. Oh, but you did tell me that the first way that they ever like juiced it was... Yeah, that's say? interesting too. The Before machines, you would use this sugar cane and what you would do is you would beat these, beat your, uh, the stalk on a rock, make it soft, and it would, it, as, it, as it gets soft, you would wring it out into a, a bowl or just wring it out into your mouth. So um, that is a way that we use sugar cane before we had machines. And also sugar cane, <laughs> an interesting thing about sugar cane is it's good for bad breath. And a sign, or bad breath is a, sign, is a sign of mineral deficiency. So bad breath is a sign of mineral deficiency. And with the over um, 95 minerals that sugar cane has, it's known to help with bad breath. This is the sugar cane that we have. This is um, our large size. And this is a small, a smaller size, 16 ounce. We only sell these uh, at the farmer's market. And we're getting them into a couple of local stores here. We're getting ready to do that. Um, but for now, you can get these from us at the farmer's market. And if you live in the tropics, you can get sugar cane, you know, just about anywhere. I'm sure somebody around is selling sugar cane. But don't, what I'm telling you guys is don't be afraid of it. Try it. It's a grass. This is in the tropical grass family. And it's actually very beneficial to the human body. He ain't lying, y'all. How often you drink sugar cane? Almost every day. Yeah. It's just it just tastes so good. You kind of feel bad about drinking it. You just like this is supposed to be good for you. So why does it taste so good? Yeah. But I I drink um oh goodness okay I don't know. All right, guys. Again, we harvest some sugar cane today. We showed you guys how we press the sugar cane. She says we are all watching on the on the beach right now. <laughs> Tori. Uh, <laughs> is green sugar cane caffeinated? Well, no, sugar cane is not naturally caffeinated. One thing uh, about sugar cane is it is naturally alkaline. But sugar cane is not naturally caffeinated. If you find green sugar cane, um, it's maybe just green because of the color of that stalk or maybe it's green Because someone added caffeine like a, a green tea or something, but uh Naturally is not caffeinated and again sugarcane is alkaline by nature Oh another way I use sugarcane is I, I mean like you can drink it straight up But you can also add it to stuff. So like I've done soups with it. I've done I put it in my oatmeal That's really my favorite way is to add it to my oatmeal and it's so good. I mean, it just is like, you just really feel good. Like the first um, couple weeks when we got our press and we were just like pressing sugar cane like crazy. It was like, our bodies just felt like so mineral rich. Like it was like- You we felt were replenished. Yeah, you felt like you were, you know, missing things. And once you start drinking the sugar cane, you really felt re replenished. So I'm super thankful to, and I'm happy that we did invest into our, our sugar cane machine. And they, they have um, smaller machines, like more for home type of use on the market too. So I would recommend looking into that if you are really interested in um, sugar cane and you have access to sugar cane to really get it into your lifestyle. Rambo, what's good Rambo? LGW, we Welcome love you. Welcome everybody to the room. Who's that? That's mama. Mama in the building. Mama's in the building. Well, we got a few mamas in the building. My mama in the building? <laughs> I don't know if your mom ain't in the building. She the missed alive. We love you. Um, the Davis are here. The Davis take did, Hawaii. Did they get? Did they get any sugar cane? Jeff got his sugar cane. Okay, they tried it. They got to try Jeff some. Jeff got his sugar cane and his shirt. Okay, mm -hmm. they're official on the team. So look, energy booster improves digestion, low glycemic, no added sugars, and it's a product of Hawaii. You can get sugar cane from us every Sunday at the farmer's market, or you can source sugar cane in your local community. Again, you can probably only get this in the tropics. You can definitely only get it in the tropics fresh, but this is a mineral water. We're happy to have it. We're happy to share it with you. 
we thank y'all for joining us on this live. We won't keep y'all. Everybody that came in the room, asked questions. I don't know if y'all know, but we're going to be doing this every Wednesday if y'all haven't catched on. So every <laughs> Wednesday, about this time. You got to give us some topics. We're yeah, trying to figure yeah, out what yeah. you guys want to know or what kind of things you guys want to see from us. So give us some topics. And also, we like some people to um, join the room. So if you ever uh, send a request, if you want to come in and join the room, you can do that anytime. Ooh, Ginger got a little spice, got a little burp going on. All right, you guys, that's Sugar Cane. Any last questions before we go? We just showed How you guys. How long can it last? That's a very good that question. That is a good question. You want to answer? You want me to? So Sugar Cane, um, being that it's not, it's just fresh pressed and it's not pasteurized or anything like that, I would say maybe like four days, four or five days in the refrigerator. Um, but you also can freeze it. And that you can freeze it and basically it'll last as long as, as it is as frozen. And then you can take it out and use it as needed. But it is a very, it has a, um, a you know, a, um, I guess a high shelf life or not a high shelf life. It has a low kind of like shelf life. It's just fresh. So it needs to be consumed um, as soon as possible. Yeah, sometimes you'll find sugarcane in the stores. If you were ever to find this in the store, um, in a bottle like this, the odds are it's been pasteurized. It's been heated to kill the bacteria so it doesn't uh so this, it increases the shelf life but this here is cold pressed sugar cane the longest we've kept it in this bottle so far we've only experimented with um a month i mean i'm sorry a week yeah uh, we bad. kept it for a week in this jar and it was still good but we haven't experimented much longer than that yeah so drink it when you press it drink it that's my Any more questions and again you guys send us some uh some things you might want to know, some things you might want to see on the live. We've been doing this every Wednesday. What's this? Number uh, this four? four? Number four. Wow. So we're going to do this every Wednesday. Go live, interact, answer questions, and okay. uh, give us some good subjects, some things you guys want to see. I know everybody in here um, is getting alive, but if you do miss the live, if you are watching this afterwards, um, it'll also be on YouTube later. YouTube at Ina and Company. So check that out. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so I know it's real. Okay. <laughs> Welcome all the new people. What we did was just jump. We just um, harvested and pressed some fresh pressed sugar cane and it's gone basically. I'm drinking the last of it now. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining. It's uh, been real, Familia. Aloha. Aloha. Remember, IneandCompany.com. Check the link in the bio.